Harmonic Trading Education. Harmonic Trading Webinar Preview. Lesson. The Gartley Pattern. Origin of the Gartley Pattern. The Gartley Pattern was originally outlined in the 1935 book, Profits in the Stock Market by H.M. Gartley. Despite the recent popularity of the pattern, the book presented only a vague illustration of a multiple segmented structure. The book mentioned little regarding patterns and did not discuss any assignment of ratios at all to any pattern structure. Although other interpretations have attempted to refine Mr. Gartley's initial work, the exact alignment for all aspects of the structure were outlined in my first book, The Harmonic Trader, released in 1998. Harmonic trading is responsible for the recent awareness of the pattern within the trading community as the, this alignment has become the industry standard. Although others may argue differently, the controversy of pattern specification is what sets harmonic trading apart from the rest. The following illustration shows a general interpretation of the diagrams Mr. Gartley presented in his uh, 1935 book. He first presented a multiple price segmented structure to define a buying opportunity. Essentially Mr. Gartley was looking for some type of extended, extended decline that was then followed by a multiple component corrective structure. This type of M type structure sought to buy on a retracement of an established low. For the sell setup, Mr. Gartley defined a extended rally that made an initial peak followed by a brief reaction that resulted in a complex W type structure that marked a retracement to sell against that initial prior peak. Although Mr. Gartley did describe the nature of this type of multiple segmented price structure, he did not label any measure points for these price segments, nor did he apply any ratios. And in fact, the Profits in the Stock Market book is an extensive technical trading book, but does not mention anything about Fibonacci ratios whatsoever. The Great Gartley Controversy. The Great Gartley Controversy truly underscores the importance of pattern differentiation. Although many patterns may seem to be the same, for real trading purposes they must be measured differentiated because they are not. Other vague Gartley interpretations existed since the H.M. Gartley's initial release in 1935, but these variations labeled any AB equals CD pattern as a valid trade opportunity. This controversy lies in the fact that not all patterns are the same. Within the harmonic trading approach, the Gartley and the BAT are two similar M and W type patterns that possess different ratio alignments and specific strategies for turning patterns into profits. For example, the different AB equals CD pattern importance for similar structures, the BC extension variations, and the XA measurement techniques are different for both of these similar structures. In my first book, The Harmonic Trader in 1998, and my second book, Harmonic Trading, The Financial Markets, Volume 1, released in 2004, I presented the rules for every point within these, both of these structures. But for the Gartley, it came down to a specific alignment that defined these structures, but although the Gartley pattern is extremely popular, valid Gartley patterns that lead to profitable, result, uh, profitable reversals are not as popular as many believe. The Great Gartley Controversy and Pattern Differentiation. So what's the big deal here? Well, the big deal is that success depends upon precision to identify profitable trade opportunities that minimize risk required optimize profit potential, and facilitate the execution of the clear situations. This understanding engenders structurally specific strategies that reduces overall confusion and promotes consistently effective decisions throughout the trading process. When dealing with real trading decisions, 
These differences are enormous and ultimately determine long-term success. The Great Gartley Controversy M and W Type Formations The Gartley pattern is an M or W type retracement price structure that can possess similar formations. Although these may seem to be the same structure on a price chart, Pattern differentiation is required to optimize the individual opportunity. In my opinion, H.M. Gartley's presentation of the structure illustrated a, a general framework, but for real trading purposes, this application cannot be applied uniformly. M and W type formations. Essentially, what we're looking at are two M and W type formations that may seem to be the same, but actually are not. Is this letter M the same as the other M? Is this letter W the same as the other W? When we're actually measuring price levels and trying to optimize which area to enter a trade for real trading purposes, these are not the same. Uniform application results in different risk parameters, profit potential, and eventual overall outcomes. Harmonic trading the Gartley pattern, an exact definition. Within the harmonic trading approach, success in this real trading requires precision. The harmonic trading Gartley refinement exemplifies the importance of ratio alignments to differentiate similar M and W type price structures. The measurement rules for the Gartley, or what I have termed the ideal Gartley structure, were first presented in the Harmonic Trader in 1998. And these have now become the industry standard because they work. In this illustration of a bullish Gartley pattern, we see an M-type structure. But this M-type structure, to be a valid Gartley, must possess certain conditions to validate the setup. Primarily, the B point must be at a 618 retracement of the primary XA leg. This midpoint at the 618 is the defining limit for this M-type structure and differentiates it from other variations of an M-type pattern. The B point establishes other measurements including the 786 retracement of the XA leg with the BC extension that can be a 1.13 or as much as a 1.618 measurement to converge with an equivalent A, equal, A, B equals C, D pattern. These three measurements, the XA786 retracement, the BC extension, and the A, B equals C, D pattern define the potential reversal zone at the completion of the structure. Looking at this example, the Canadian dollar on a 60 minute basis we see a distinct M-type structure. First place I look when I see any type of M or W-type pattern is to examine where the B-point lies. In this case, the 618 XA retracement marked the B-point. This established the equivalent AB equals CD pattern to converge with the 786 XA retracement and the 127 BC extension to define the three numbers, the three measurements, that outlined the potential reversal zone. Looking at this chart of the price action in the potential reversal zone, we clearly see how those three numbers came together to define a tight, a tight 20 pip range for the intraday reversal. Also notice the B point, as that was then an exact 618 retracement. This is a critical factor in validating the clearest symmetrical M-type structures. When I see an exact 618 at the B point, I know very likely that a valid Gartley is at hand, and eventually that structural signal is providing clear harmonic support and excellent entry points for trades. The bearish Gartley pattern. This is a W-type structure that possesses a 618 at the B point. That 618 retracement identifies this W structure and establishes the other measurements to define the completion point for the pattern. The 786 retracement of the XA leg converges with the equivalent AB equals CD pattern with the 1.13 or as much as a 1.618 BC extension. 
looking at this chart of the Australian dollar versus the Canadian dollar, we see a clear W type structure. The first place I look is the B point. In this case, the B point's at an exact 618 XA retracement. This establishes the other numbers, including an equivalent AB equals CD and the 786 XA retracement with a 127 BC extension. Essentially, these are the primary measurements of the W type structure that defined a tight range for harmonic resistance and the entry for the trade. Looking at this chart of the price action in the potential reversal zone, we clearly see how those three measurements of that W type structure identified this as a Gartley and defined the ideal entry point for the short. These three numbers clearly mark the pattern reversal and again the ideal pinpoint level, price level for the trade. For harmonic trading purposes we always want to wait till all the numbers are tested in the zone before we consider a pattern complete. However, this potential reversal zone was very close to the extreme high for the move. There's a lot more to discussing about the Gartley pattern and I encourage you and offer you this discount at my website harmonictrader.com to learn as much as you can about harmonic patterns. This pattern set specification is one of the key factors that separates harmonic trading from other Fibonacci approaches and for real trading purposes is a key, re key requirement to achieve success. We must be as specific and as precise as possible to identify trade opportunities, to minimize risk, optimize profit potential, and facilitate the trading decision process.